Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Chum here from Fusion Squad, and welcome to the brand new Pokemon Let's Play that is taking place on our channel. As you guys can see here today, we have Pokemon Soul Silver version, and as I mentioned in our uh, Ultimate Shiny giveaway, it's a randomized Nuzlocke, and I'll explain all that stuff as we go along. However, I just want to point out that, you know, I'm really glad that you guys, you know, put a lot of uh, thought into what you wanted me to do for the game, and you guys responded to the comment question. It's good to see that. And, um, so yeah. Alright, so a lot of people asking for Heart Gold Soul Silver, a lot of people asking for Gen 4, and a lot of people asking for Gen 2. So I figured let's kill three birds with one stone. We got Gen 4, we got Soul Silver, and we got Generation 2 because it's the remake, right? Either way, guys, let's jump straight into this. And realistically, let's just go in there, kick some ass, and be the best Pokemon trainer we can be. I don't think we need any special information, so I am just going to click. I don't know if you guys can see my mouse, but it's there. Clicking on no if you needed. But yeah, I have, I'm using my mouse. And I'm using like a PS4 controller because I'm cool like that. Anyway, dot, 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 dot. <sighs> huh? What? Is it already that late? Oh no, I overslept. I don't even know what to voice to do. Press Oak, legit. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things about... There's a few things you should know. God damn, this is so slow text. God damn. About this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. It looks like that Pokemon isn't randomized, because I'm pretty sure it normally is a Marrow. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Won't you please tell me? Okay, so traditionally on our channel, we've only done two like Let's Plays before, but traditionally, I have been the girl because just to vary it up. Because usually, I do play with uh, Cage, and we both play together, and just to so that we have one boy, one girl. But just because right now, we what do you call it? Because we have uh, what, what's it? Because we have just me, and I'm so used to playing as a guy. I'm gonna play as a guy again. I know. Sorry for you, all you ladies out there who want me to be a girl. I don't know if there's any people out there who want me to be a girl. Either way, so you're a boy then. Yes. Please tell me your name. I will do such a thing. Do I know how to control this game? I do. Because like I said, I'm using a PS4 controller. And so, it's not uh, something I'm used to. But it's working out alright. Your name is Chum? Yes, it is. Chum, are you ready? Your very own grand adventure is about to begin. I don't think I wrote that right, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Difficult experiences like my Pokemon dying. Oh no, I'm not looking forward to that. Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Let's go. Alright guys, so we're in our room. Let's go check out all the things. But what I want to say is, I told you guys this is a randomized Nuzlocke, right? So what that means is, of course, randomized means that... Ooh, what the hell? What would you like to do with the... Read it. Is that it? Is that it? Okay, boring. Um, but yeah. 
So it being randomized means that we're not going to see the normal Pokemon or the normal starters. All the items are randomized as well. Um, I might leave a list in the description of like all the different changes I've made to the game so far. Um, just because um, it might be interesting for you guys to know. And if you guys do want, let me know in the description, not the description, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to share the NDS file with you guys so that way we can all uh, play together. Um, and we'll see how that's going to work out. Either way, let us walk downstairs and talk to my mother while I explain the Nuzlocke rules. So, as many of you guys should know, Nuzlocke's are pretty, pretty common nowadays. And what it means is, there's a many rules. First of all, um, any Pokemon that faints is officially dead. Um... You can only catch one Pokemon each route, and so that's the first encounter you see, you get that Pokemon. Um, for this LP, let's be, like, I've decided that all static encounters are things I don't run into myself. Like, if it's a, if it has an overworld sprite in any form, or it's a gift Pokemon, like someone gives it to me, I don't use my own Pokemon on it, then um, they don't count as a route encounter. Just so that way we can have more encounters, we can have more fun, you know, who doesn't love more Pokemon? But, yeah, so like I said, we have those two rules, and... Another rule I like to give myself is that I have to nickname every single Pokemon. It increases the bond, it makes it hurt so much more when they die, and so on and so forth. But yeah, so that's basically how this is going to go. If there's anything I've forgotten, I'll be sure to link a list of rules to Nuzlocke in the description so you guys can check that out. And I, I feel like I've covered everything. If not, then um, my bad. By the way, let's get back to talking to our mother. Hi, chum. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her marrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. This text is so slow, goddamn. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. This is your trainer card. Here you can save a record of your progress. These are also rather helpful. Just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. Thanks, Mom. Okay, let's check. Okay, first things first. That's not what I meant to press. Um, let us change our damn tech speed to fast. Battle scene on because because you're swag. I'm actually doing the same. Who cares about this? Actually, no. Can we get a silver one? Because it's all silver, right? Or like a red and thingy one because of Fusion Squad. Uh, I saw, swear I saw a good one before. I missed it. Oh, here we go. That's gold and that's silver. Alright, sweet. Let's go. Confirm. And now, let us go. We're going to talk to people because I'm pretty sure I get my Pokemon like straight away. And that will look to Meryl. I was like, trying to run away. I was like, why can't I move? How rude, she didn't even say hi to me or anything. That's, come on, man. Like, why do you have to be like this? Alright, let us go into this house. Because I don't want this episode to be like, what, 10 minutes long? I mean, it's going to be 10 minutes long, maybe 11. I don't know why I didn't read that out loud. <laughs> Whatever. Let's look, okay, let's talk to this guy. Yo, chum! I, I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Bruh. That's, that's some swag. Do okay. There's a random, like, jutting out of the trees to our left. We're going to check that out afterwards. Pikachu in a Zoal Pokemon. This fact was first discovered by Professor Elm. I was amazed by Professor Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. Sigh. I wish I could be a researcher like him. Instead, she's sitting at home at an empty coffee table doing nothing with her life. Right? Sounds like, sounds like a plan. There's something here that has to be. Come on, game. Don't be like this. Whatever. Okay, fine. Let's speed up this up a little bit. Let's talk to this chick. I like your bag. Thanks, bro. And you guys should all know who this guy is. If you don't, then uh, you're going to be on for a front ride in this adventure. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? I know, like, how how rude can you get? Anyway, let's go inside the Pokemon Lab and let us get our starter. Let's talk to the professor, not the professor, the aide. Huh? Me? I'm not the professor. He's at the back of the room. Cheers, bro. Hi, chum. I've been waiting for you. 
Do you know anything about Pokemon research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with their Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It can have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds? Between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon f you could choose from. Alright. Ooh, phone call. Oh, hey, I got an email. Just kidding, it was an email. Hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably just another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? We can count on you. You can change from one of the Pokemon over there. Alright, bro. Let's do it. So as I said before, this is a randomized Nuzlocke, so this can be anything. We're not going to see Chikorita, Cyndaquil, or Turtle, unless we're really unlucky. What we should see is completely random Pokemon. So, let us Enumel the Fire-type Pokemon, alright? We have Stunky, the Poison-type Pokemon. And last but not least, we have Zatu, the Psychic-type Pokemon. Alright, so, not as much hype as I was expecting, but hey, we can deal with it. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to ask you to uh, answer the comment question, as you can see on the left-hand side of the layout, and I want you to tell me which starter you think I should choose, and we'll kick the next episode off right here. I'll pick what you guys decide, and we'll go off on our adventure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys enjoyed my stupid Ellen voice, my stupid mother voice, and yeah, be sure to answer the comment question so I know which Pokemon to pick up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.